a good morning or a good afternoon or a good evening, depending on when you're watching this. Um, this week in your math book, we are talking about place value and comparing numbers. So I'm going to do a little video for you to help you do your assignments this week. So before we uh, start making our place value charts and comparing numbers, let's talk about the symbols that are used to compare. So we've talked about these before at school. Um, we've talked about, do you remember our alligator and our greater than, less than using the alligator? So let's talk about those. I'll use a green marker because that represents our alligator. Okay, so greater than is the first one we're gonna go over. So I'm gonna pick just two numbers that we'll use um, to write a compare sentence. Okay, so let's do five and three. So in your book, you'll see it has the circle in between two numbers and it wants you to fill in the symbol. So greater than would be the alligator's mouth facing the five because it's trying to eat the five because the five is a greater number or bigger number, right? Okay, so that's greater than. Less than, using our same numbers, with the circle in the middle, we're gonna make it go again toward the five, but see how it's going in a different direction now because the three is here, so the three is less than, so the alligator is pointing away from the three and with its mouth open toward the five, okay? So it's less than, three is less than five. And you can read these just like a sentence, so if you were to form it into a, se a sentence, the greater than would be five is greater than three. This one would be three is less than five. So let's write an equal statement. And our equal sign is those two lines, just like that. And we'll put it inside of our circle. And this time we'll put five is equal to, can you guess what it's equal to? Right, it's equal to five because they are the same number, they have the same value. So let's recap really quickly. So greater than, you wanna make sure your alligator is open to the number that you're saying is greater, less than, the alligator is pointing away from the number you're saying is smaller or less than, and then equal to, your numbers on both sides of the equation have to be the same, okay? So, now that we've gone over our symbols, let's move on to the next part of the lesson. All right, let's get started. For second grade, we're looking at hundreds, tens, and ones, so all three place values. So you can follow along in your workbook, or your math book, sorry, um, your math book, and you can, I'll be doing one or two of the examples that are in the example portion of your work this week. Um, and then I'll do some that are not in there. So you can just follow along. You can grab a piece of paper if you'd like to do what I'm doing on the board, or you can just follow along in your book, okay? So let's get started. What we first need to do is we are going to draw a place value chart. Normally we draw the T chart like this, when it's just two place values. When it's tens and ones, we just need two columns. But we're doing hundreds as well, so we're gonna kind of extend this and draw three, right? So we need to mark H for hundreds, T for tens, and O for ones. So we have three columns. And we're gonna be comparing two different numbers. So we're gonna make another line here so that we can write one number up here and one number down here. Okay, so the first example we're gonna talk about is in your book you'll see it'll write one number and then a big circle in the middle and then another number. And that's gonna be our number sentence that we're trying to solve. So the first one is 600 18 and then the circle and the second number is 
634, okay? So we're trying to solve. Do we need to put a greater than, less than, or equal to sign in that circle? That's what we're trying to determine. So let's look at our uh, place value chart again. We need to fill in the two numbers so that we can compare them. It doesn't matter if you put one of them on the top, one of them on the bottom, but you just need to make sure that you're going across your place value. So 618 is six tens, one, sorry, six hundreds, one ten, and eight ones. And then 634 is six hundreds, three tens, and four ones. So we've lined them all up in the way that they need to go. That's the first step. Okay, now that we have that step done, we, I'm gonna let you know, we need to compare the numbers, we need to look at the greatest place value column first. So look at your T-chart. Are the ones, tens, or hundreds the greatest place value? If you guessed that hundreds are the greatest place value, then you are correct. So we need to look at the numbers in those two columns first, okay? So six hundreds for this one and six hundreds for this one. Are those numbers the same? Yeah, they are the same, right? So we know that this did not help us determine yet if one number is greater than the other because so far we have six hundreds and six hundreds. So next we're gonna move to the tens column. We're gonna look at that column. So for 618, there's one 10, and 634, there are three tens. Is one greater than or less than three? If you said that one is less than three, you're correct. Three is a bigger number. So because we know that this number has a bigger tens place value, it has more tens, we can say that 618 is less than 634 because 634 has three tens and 618 only has one ten. So our alligator is gonna eat 634 and it's pointing away from 618 because 618 is less than 634. So we got through our first example. If you're following along, good job. Let's go on to our next example. All right, we need to draw another place value chart. So this time I'm gonna draw the, the line nice and long, and then I'm gonna draw two lines coming down. And the H to represent hundreds, the T to represent tens, and the O to represent ones. And then I'm gonna add another line so that we can write both numbers. So for this example, we are going to use the numbers 846, and then we're trying to solve. I'm gonna actually erase that because I wrote a little bit too big. I'm gonna run into my chart here. So I'll write it on this side again, 846, Trying to solve an 841. Okay, so we're need, we need to solve. Does it have a greater than, less than, or equal to sign? So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna write it in our place value chart. 846 and 841. Okay, so we need to look, remember, we need to look at the greatest place value first. So we're gonna look at the hundreds place. So we know we have eight hundreds in 846, and we know we have eight hundreds in 841. Are those numbers, is one number greater? Is one number less, or are they equal? If you said they're equal, you're right. Eight hundreds is the same as eight hundreds. So we still don't know which number is bigger or smaller or if they're equal. Well, let's move to the tens place to find out some more information. 
So 846 has four tens, and 841 has four tens. Those are also equal so far. So we have eight hundred, eight hundreds, four tens, eight hundreds, four tens in both numbers. So when that happens, then you need to go to the final column and look at the ones. So in 846, we have six ones, and in 841, we only have one one, which means, you guessed it, if you said that one is smaller than six or less than six, that would mean that 841 is a smaller number than 846. So let's look back at our equation right here. If we have 846 on this side of the equation, what sign do I need to put there? Which way does the alligator need to be facing? Think about it for a second. Is the alligator going to eat the 846? Or is the alligator going to eat the 841? The alligator wants to eat the bigger number the one with more value, right? So if you said that the alligator is going to eat 846, you are correct. Because we can say 846 is greater than 841. So good job if you're following along still. Let's keep going. Let's do one more example, okay? So we are gonna, once again, we're going to draw our place value chart with our hundreds, our tens, and our ones, and a line to separate both numbers. Okay, so the next set of numbers that we're gonna use, I think I can fit it on the side if I write small this time. We're going to do 372, See, I, I keep getting, keep writing too big. I need to write smaller. Okay, 372 and 372. So we need to solve, is it gonna be greater than, less than, or equal to? If you know or you have a guess, you can write it down now, but we're still gonna go through the problem just to double check. It's always safe to double check your answers so that you know that your answer is correct. So we're going to line it up, 372 and 372. Okay, 300s in 372 and 300s in 372. So we know that both columns have a 3 in the hundreds place. So we need to move to the tens place to see if one of those numbers is greater than or less than. So seven tens in this number and seven tens in this number. So, so far we have three hundreds and seven tens in this number and three hundreds and seven tens in this number. So right now it still looks like they're equal. So we need to go to the next column, the ones column, and we need to compare those numbers. So for this one, there are two ones and in this one, there are two ones as well. So we've gone through all of our columns and all of them were equal. So that means that 372 is equal to 372. The numbers are the same, so they are equal to. So good job if you predicted that they were going to be equal. I'm glad we went and we checked and then we were able to fill in our number sentence, our equation, right? So give yourself a pat on the back, a big round of applause because you made it through our practice lesson. So I'm going to encourage you that if you are struggling with your work this week, if you need to come back and review the video of what we just did, uh, you should do that. So it might be able to help you understand what the math book is asking you to do. So you wanna make sure that you know the hundreds place, the tens place, 
and the ones place and you want to make sure that you're looking at the right the the highest place value first when you're comparing the numbers and then you can move to the ones that are less the place values that are less so take a look back at this if you need help if you are still confused email mrs farina and we'll be able to help you out or you can ask your parents for help too so have a great week and i hope that you enjoy this math lesson and uh, the work that you're doing at home.